we have five or six exercises too in tier, tier three. So uh, we have the single leg mass, maximal forward hop. So similar to a hop test when you jump forward as, as far as possible with one leg. Uh, repeated forward hops, uh, not, not so fast. So if you jump forward with one leg, but not at a very high velocity, we found that that, that actually generates more load in the patellar tendon than if you do that fast. And that actually makes sense because if you do that fast with, with just one leg, you're using the Achilles tendon more. You're using your ankle more to generate power. But if you do it more slowly, you're bending your knee more. So you use your knee more. So we actually did jumps at different velocities, slow velocity jump and high velocity jump. And we found that if you jump a little bit slower, but repeatedly, this actually generates more load in the patellar tendon. The next one was the counter movement jump with just one leg. So if you if you bend your knee and then do a maximal vertical jump and, land, and then land, this is a very high load exercise for the patellar tendon. The change of direction, so we call this run and cut. So if you come running as fast as possible and then make a 45 degree cut to your left using your right leg as a support leg. So that is a very high load exercise for your patellar tendon. And the last one was kind of surprising, but not so much, was the single leg decline squat. So the single leg decline squat, let me just repeat that to you. It's the exercise with the highest load index for the patellar tendon. And that, that was, like I said, kind of surprising, but not so much because it's an exercise that is designed to actually isolate the quadriceps the most. You put the patient with the, uh, the foot in plantar flexion, so you generate an, a, a shortening of their uh, ankle plantar flexors. So you put them into insufficiency. And you actually keep your trunk as upright as possible. So you, you take away the glutes from the, the squat. You're basically squatting only using your quads. And we found that this exercise has a very, very high loading peak and also a very, very high loading impulse. So thinking about uh, an exercise that has a very, very high load for the patellar tendon, this one would be something that would make sense to be used in the advanced stages of the rehab, but not so much in the initial stages.